to Dybala. Welcome to Arsenal. And there's our new number nine. Great tackle. And now can he get through? Dybala in support. Dybala. And he gets his debut goal. It is Paolo Dybala. Hey guys and welcome to another one of these Arsenal Karima episodes and today we've got the final part of the transfer window. It is time for transfer deadline day and a few massive games coming up as well. And we're going to start off here with a transfer offer for Danny Welbeck and it comes from Tottenham Hotspur. So no idea why they want him and no idea why they think I would want to sell him to Tottenham. So unless you can offer me like maybe 929 million you can have him so that's all they're going to get him for i know that Welbeck's worth a lot and he's not a first team player but he's definitely not going to tottenham hotspur so there we are uh, second of all here for alexandra pato and i decided to keep this because a few of you guys have said to go for pato but i think for now i'm going to stick to using dabala Giroud, and also sanchez maybe even Welbeck as my four strikers and uh, now we can just see that arteta's gone to athletic bilbao a few of you guys were saying to maybe fill in the position but of course i've got sergi samper but we have got a lot of work to do in the Premier League and we're going to start off today with a game versus Southampton. We are four points behind the first place West Ham and this is a must win game. So now time for the first game of today's episode and before we go into the first game if you guys just smash a like on the video and let's say as soon as we get a thousand likes on this episode another episode of the Arsenal career mode will be uploaded to the channel and there will be a my player series and an ultimate team series coming soon to the channel and you can see the lineup yet again so the only change really is Sampa playing in that CDM position but apart from that it's pretty, pretty much my normal team right Gibbs now gonna shoot here from range and it's got a deflection so this has been a good start to the game and now we have ourselves a corner we're gonna take it short to Alexis and just about gets in play let's try and beat his man here Alexis goes inside another ball into middle Sampa off the post and Sanchez hits it over the bar, but Sampa nearly got his first goal for Arsenal. But Isgrove's got a bit of pace about him. And he beats Koscielny into Pele, but that's the man really to watch. They're going to always look to try and cross it into him because he is like amazing in the air. Ramsey in a lot of space here. And he cuts inside. Ramsey now to shoot. And he's saved again by the goalkeeper. It must be a matter of time till we score this first goal. Into Walcott. Great play. And now through to Walcott. Walcott now through. And again, the goalkeeper's there, but this is partly down to my finishing. That should have been the first goal, but that's fantastic link-up play. Theo acting as a striker there. Uh, Walcott in a lot of space here. Going to try and cut inside this time. Ozil went in the middle. It's Ozil. There we are. Meza Ozil with the first goal. And it's taken us 45 minutes to get this. But finally, Ozil found the space. And it's perfectly found by Theo Walcott. That was beautiful build-up play as well. Theo Walcott inside. He found Ozil in the middle. And Ozil just had to take one touch. And he finished it. Like, easy as that. First touch. Bangs it in. Past the goalkeeper. So on comes three new players. We've got Wilshire coming on. We've got Welbeck as well. And finally Santa Cazorla. Uh, we are dominating procedures so far against the relegation, obviously Southampton, who are currently in 19th place. Like, what has gone with their season? Right, and here we go again. And Theo Walcott's going to keep it in. Now the ball into the middle. Great ball into Dybala, but cleared away. Sample wins it back again. And now can launch a counter. Great ball at the top, but Dybala just can't get there. Or well, maybe he can. Well, Wanyama makes a mess of it. And seven minutes to go. This is not where Southampton want to be. Right, Dybala is going to take this corner. And it's a good ball into Gabriel to head. And it's good, well saved by Davis. But we need that second goal because Southampton really going for that goal to get back in the game. Pele finds Tadic. I know he's going to look back for him, but look at the space here for Romeu, and it's well over the bar. Now it's Southampton's first real chance of the game, and they were wasteful with it. So there we are, guys. There goes the final whistle, and it's a 1 0 win versus Southampton. It could have been so many more goals, but of course, we have forgot that game in a few days' time versus Chelsea. But now, time for another week of training, and this week we're going to go with three different players. We've got Sampa, Dybala, and finally Alexis Sanchez, and we're going to sim simulate all the three drills, and let's see how our three players have done. So, I do want to try and get Sanchez close to 87 rated. He only gets a D, by the way, uh, but Sampa gets an F and a B, and Dybala gets a B, and uh, no, so a C and a D. So, not too bad, but definitely room for improvement. And now we've got a game in a few days' time versus Liverpool and I think they're doing well so far this season but after that win the table is looking a lot better because West Ham even though they got a game in hand they are now only one point ahead of us so we currently sit in second place Chelsea in third and Manchester United round off the top four right so these are the players to watch Urs with five goals this season and I haven't noticed that but five goals is not too bad and Daniel Sturridge apparently a player to watch has got zero goals this season so here we go guys time for the second game of today's episode and we have kicked off versus Liverpool Oh, hello. Jordan Ibe's got a bit of pace. And he's just been bellering like he weren't there. 
And now it's Sturridge into the middle. Look at Henderson. And now they've got another man here. It's Firmino. Back into Sturridge. Well defended. And we get the ball away. But Sturridge, of course, is a man to watch. And here we go. Henderson has now found Firmino. Good save. Straight back into danger. And somehow nothing happened. But no, it's a penalty. Why is the referee giving a penalty? What happened? And I think he has Petr Cech. Thankfully, no yellow cards. But he made a massive mistake with the first save. And then took out Henderson. And it's given Liverpool a penalty. So Sturridge versus Czech. We're going to go left hand side. And it's well saved by Sturridge. Or sorry, well saved by Czech. And we get the ball clear. Right, so what are Liverpool planning here? Sturridge walks over it. Lalana, And that's pretty terrible. But Liverpool being the better team so far. That's a great ball. And now Dybala's through. And he's got Oxlade in support. We're going to try and cut inside though. But that's a poor touch. Dybala hasn't been good enough in this game, but somehow we have got more possession. Like, where's that come from? So it's about time for the second half now, and Theo Walcott's going to replace Oxlade Chamberlain. So a play is slightly more direct, and we'll play closer to Paolo Dybala as the main striker. But what we've got to remember is that Liverpool's goalkeeper for this game is Bogdan. So we just need to have shots, move the ball quickly, and hopefully the chances will come. Right, we're going to take it with Theo, and we're going to look into the middle here for Per Metzaka. It's cleared away, but Ramsey's got a good first touch. And it's saved for the goalkeeper. But finally a shot on goal. And we finally get a foothold in this game. Yes, Sanchez. Right, can he keep going? And he can find Ozil inside. Ozil now through to Dybala. Off the post. But what a chance to take the lead. It could have been Dybala's first or second Premier League goal now. We have got the pressure on at the moment. Theo Walcott. Ball into the middle. Fantastic ball in. But Sanchez can't get there. But let's just keep the pressure on. Now Gibbs maybe to shoot. Still got it. And it's saved this time, but we're getting closer with 20 minutes to go. We can take the lead in this game. Yes, Gibbs again. Fantastic ball in. The ball is there. The Sacco gets clear. So 10 minutes now to go. We're going to make two changes now as we're going to take off Dybala, take off Ozil, and on comes Santa Cazorla, and on comes Danny Welbeck. So now we've got a bit more pace to go forward with. Oh, it's a poor pass. Mersaka does well. But there we are, guys. That is going to be the full time whistle. And we draw the game 0 0. I think it's a deserved result as well because Liverpool did have the better first half. We came back in the second and probably deserved to win the game because we had that massive Dabala chance we just couldn't take on the day. Uh, that's a good result. And let's now move on into the final days of the transfer window. And now, time for the final 10 hours of the transfer window. And I think I was kind of looking at the team and I think I'm happy with how the team is looking. So I'm not going to sell any players. And I'm not going to try and sign any final players. And the good thing about this year on FIFA, on FIFA 16 and on career mode is that the budget will, most of it, will carry on for next season, including the normal budget you get at the start of the season as we get an offer here for Oxlade. And that's not going to happen. 11 million, you're going to have to at least offer 20. And it looks like Aguero might be going to Napoli. Like, they talk about transfer being more realistic. Hazard has gone to Bayern Munich for £68 million, pounds, uh, but I don't understand that. So why would... Aguero leave Man City and go to Napoli but I also think the next step for this team is to go for a new centre defensive midfielder but not really like a Cochran style player uh, more like a Cazorla uh, kind of style so play playmaker basically a deep playmaker is what I'm trying to say and you can see another big offer so Pjanic has gone to AS Monaco for £33 million so a lot of money going around and Coutinho of course has gone to Atletico Madrid and just to sum up what's happened in this transfer window we have actually spent £16 million on our new striker Paolo Dybala we've also got a profit of £5.2 so Arteta and of course Flamini have now gone to their separate clubs so two players I wanted to sell increasing our wage budget uh, to go for a new player next summer uh, but now it's time for the next game of today's episode and you can see at the moment guys we're still in second place but the gap is only one point to West Ham United. So now time for the third game of today's episode and this game comes from the Vitality Stadium, of course the home of Bournemouth and this is a stadium that I've just wanted to play for for so long and Bournemouth currently in 18th place so it should be in a winnable game but it's better a lot of pass and move from Bournemouth. They play some fantastic stuff like to Callum Wilson, also Rich, he's a great player as well. It's going to be a tough game but hopefully we should be the winning team. And now he's troubling us at the back and it goes out to Richie, another man to watch out for. Right, here we go. And look at the ball into the middle. Bellerin does well. Sanchez can't get it clear. And the ball comes back in. An easy save for Czech. But you can already see the passing going on. That's a great ball. And Alexis Sanchez is on side. Thanks to a great ball from Dybala. Alexis Sanchez makes it 1-0 with the first time we've been in their half. And that's all thanks to Dybala who finds Alexis Sanchez making a quality run. 
and Bournemouth's defence is completely exposed. Look at that. And they're the best types of through balls when it's just onside. Sanchez had so much space and an easy finish for, I think now he's the sixth goal of the season, so not too bad at all. Again, the passing starts. And that's Gradle to shoot. And a good save, but Bournemouth, I've got to give them credit. They've really gone for it still. Maybe why they conceded that first goal, but they're really attacking. So now time for the second half of this game. Sampa's going to replace Coquelin. We have got a lot of games coming up, including a game against Chelsea at the start of next episodes. But the reason I brought on Sampa is because we're getting completely outplayed in that CDM position. So we're going to bring on Sampa. Obviously, Coquelin didn't have the best of the first half, but he's still my first choice. I just think Sampa has a better chance in the second half. Now Sampa getting forwards. And he can find Ozil, who can now find Sanchez. Now can Sanchez cut inside. Alexis Sanchez makes it 2-0. He has been fantastic today. He has got his second goal, which gives us a fantastic two-goal lead versus Bournemouth. That's great play. And now Cazorla just cuts inside. Dybala now playing as a cam. And he can find Danny Welbeck, who's just come on. Now back into Dybala. That's a terrible ball in, but we're still on the attack. And here goes Oxay chamberlain and he can just beat his man with ease. Now the ball goes in, and again, it's a shocking ball in. That's partly my fault, but Dybala was just calling out for the ball. Right, can we add a third goal now? Dybala's just going to keep going, and he can find Oxley chamberlain onside. Oxley chamberlain and it's just why he has to take chances like that. Like, if he wants to start in the first team, he has to finish that. They really do deserve a goal, but not like this, like the time-wasting. And there goes a the full-time whistle. So that is a fantastic way to end today's episode. Another clean sheet. Another two goals for Alexis Sanchez. Uh, but that is going to be the end of today's episode. And if you guys have enjoyed it, I'm to smash a like on the video. As I said before, as soon as we have 1,000 likes on this episode, the next episode will be uploaded to the channel. And again, a massive thank you for all support you guys have shown on the first 14 episodes of this series. But thanks for watching, and I'll see you for the next one.